Hey guys, this is BrushHog42, and today I'm showing you how to make a fire starter, kind of like a candle, but you don't have to use any special wax or anything. You don't have to buy wicks. This is just things you can find around the house. Uh, I did get this from somebody else on YouTube. I can't remember his name. The last There's two words to it. Um, it's something angler, but I'm stealing this idea, um, just kind of copying it. Uh, because it's easier to find videos, you know, and there's multiple videos of one subject. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to need um, a cotton ball, a butter knife, or something to scoop out whatever you're using. Uh, petroleum jelly is what you can use. That's probably better than this. Chapstick, but I'm using coconut oil. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need... And you're gonna need a straw. Um, let me. You're also gonna need a pair of pliers or forceps or something, which I'm gonna go get right now. And once I go get those, I will show you what they look like and I will show you how to make this. Okay, I got my forceps and now I'm gonna show you how to make this. I'm gonna set everything aside real quick so it's not in the way. Okay. We're gonna start out with the straw. You wanna cut the the flexy part of the end off. Or even if you just have like a regular McDonald's straw or something, you can use that too and you won't have to cut that. You want a piece about a little over probably three inches ish in length. Like that long. So it's not long at all. From my thumb to my pinky, that's eight inches. So, it's not long at all. Um, what you're going to do, you want to take your forceps, or your pliers, or whatever you're using, and kind of flatten that in down real quick. Just take it like this. I'm going to get a lighter real quick. Okay, I got a lighter. This lighter doesn't work too well, so it might take a little while to get lighted. Okay, and just slowly melt that in down. And just kind of hold it there for a second. And let it harden up. And this will be waterproof, so you can drop them in water as much as you want. Never come apart. The ends get sealed up like that. They dry up pretty quick. It's not hot anymore. Okay, after that, you're going to need to take your cotton ball and your coconut oil you want to take a bit of coconut oil and you want to take a little bit out Let me get this out real quick you don't want too much you just want to put it on top of your cotton ball or petroleum jelly if you're using petroleum jelly put your petroleum jelly or chapstick onto the cotton ball Whatever you're using, you just want to work it into the cotton ball slowly. Well, your hands do get greasy and it's kind of annoying to get off. Dawn dish soap works really well. Everyone knows that, but I always use that after I make these. So put these on my survival kit. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure the cotton ball is stretched out a little. You can do it in multiple pieces. You want it pretty thin. Just want to set that there. And you are going to need a toothpick, which I'm getting one right now, and I have one. You want to take the open end of your straw and kind of use a toothpick. Just stuff the cotton ball in really slow. I'm sorry about the dog. He is waiting to come inside. So, just keep doing that. Once you have that all stuffed in really good, uh, I'll show you what to do afterward. Okay, everybody, I've stuffed all my cotton ball in there really tight. So, now I'm going to melt the other end together. Dang, I just had it going.
Okay. Now it's melted together. No spaces. So it's waterproof now. Okay. Um, I'll show you when it's burning. Okay, I've got a piece of aluminum foil just in case this starts to burn out a little much. And so I can set it down if it gets too hot on my fingers, but it shouldn't. So what you're going to do to use this, you're going to cut off the tip. I'm going to take that away and grab some of the cotton if I can. And just let about that much out. So about that much stick out. Then you're going to want to take your lighter and it should light right away. See? Barely touching it. It should light really fast. See? And it should, and it should stay lit for probably three minutes-ish. And but this one, I put a little too much coconut oil on, I think. Or maybe not enough. But you don't want to put too much of whatever you're using. Coconut oil, petroleum jelly, chapstick, etc. Because then it'll just all burn away really fast. The whole point of this is to keep it lasting longer so you're not using a ton of matches. And I just see it works pretty well. Not doing too bad. I'm going to start holding it with my forceps now. It's going to start getting hot. Um, thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you did. I know it wasn't the best because the dog's barking, but I have a very good camera. It's kind of not letting me show that right there. But, oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, bye.